here at the stockyards in Fort Worth, Texas. You're on stomping ground. That's right. <laughs> exactly. So we came down here today. We haven't been down here in years. It's probably 12 years. Yeah. So we're going to go check it out and see if anything's changed and see what kind of stuff we can get into. Okay. All right. <laughs> I call shenanigans. I know. He says this is the world's largest belt buckle. They have a Guinness thing and everything. But we saw. Yeah, the world's largest belt buckle is in Uranus. <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they both had Guinness. Somebody's full of sh. I mean, somebody's full of crap. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> is. Because this can't be the biggest if that was the biggest. They both got they Guinness. Can't. Somebody is a forger. I think ESPN is full of crap. Uranus is telling the truth. Somebody's spreading fake news. Fake news. <laughs> God dang it. Well, either way, we've seen the largest belt buckle. No matter how you skin it. Which ever stated <laughs> We're at the South Fork Ranch. Yeah. We told you we was coming. <laughs> when we were at Weatherford yeah. and we were at the Grave of Mary Martin, we were talking about Larry Hagman. We told you we were coming to the South Fork Ranch and now we're here. Interesting facts. Bunch of interesting facts. Yeah. Stuff that I had no idea uh -huh. of is, well, let's start from the beginning. They, they started the show, they did five shows, like a pilot deal, and they weren't even here. It was a different house. Different house location where they were shooting the outside scenes. Yeah. And another location, location other, another side of Dallas. Other side of Dallas where they shot the inside so, scenes because the yeah. folks who let them shoot outside wouldn't let when them shoot inside. Shoot, and then so they found another house that they were able to shoot the inside. Yeah. After the five episodes, neither location would let them would film allow, anymore. Yeah. So they're like, oh crap, what do we do now? <laughs> Had to find a new house. They found this place. They started shooting all the outdoor scenes Could here. Could only do outside at South here. Fork. Yeah. And all, they took pictures of the place where they used to shoot all the indoor scenes, built sets right. in California to replicate the inside and of shot all the indoors. So yeah. all the outdoor scenes in Dallas, the original Dallas series, was shot out out here. And they were Southport only Ranch. allowed to do it June, June July, July, and August. August. Yeah. It was the only time they could film out. And here. then all the indoor scenes that you see in Dallas, which you think are shoot, so, shot inside this house, are not. are not. They're shot in a studio in California. It's crazy. Yes. That's really it cool. Is cool. So good, good facts there, but there's lots of cool other stuff to see out here. So we're gonna go check out some of that other stuff too.
Well, now we're out back. And if you've seen a lot of the outside footage on Dallas, um, you know, where, where JR and Jock and Miss Ellie hung out by the pool and Bobby and, you know, and Pam. And this is it. Yeah. It's tiny. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as big as it looks on TV. Yeah. It looks like a huge pool. It looks like a, like a just giant estate. Yeah. But it's just a regular sized pool. <laughs> yeah. But this is the actual uh, furniture. Mm -hmm. It's still here. Original furniture. They shot out here on this furniture. They shot uh, back there on the back patio is actually the, the real furniture. Up there on the balcony is still the real sure, furniture. Sure, yeah. All this outside stuff hasn't changed a whole lot from the, yeah. from the series. But um, like I said, the only thing that they shot inside of this house was scenes from the reboot. Yeah. They did a reboot on TNT for about three seasons. Yeah, and, um, 2012 to 2014. It's actually where they shot um, the hotel scene. Because yeah. they, they made a, one of the hallways up here look like, like a hotel, hotel. Uh, and a, down and in Mexico. a hotel room. And that's actually where JR was ultimately mm -hmm. killed for good. Yeah. And so the crime scene is still up there. Uh, they've walled it off, so, so they preserved that. And, yeah. Um, one of the houses of one of the characters is still here on the grounds the where, they, where they yeah. shot some of the reboot. So we're going to go over and check out the house. We're going to go look at some of the other stuff uh, that, was, that was in the show yeah. out here. Jock's, Jock's car. car. And um, mm -hmm. the grave yard or the cemetery, cemetery. <laughs> the, the cemetery the, the, the mock cemetery the where they filmed but it's not a real cemetery sure, but that's where yeah. that's where jock and miss ellie and jr, and JR are, are buried, buried. <laughs> <laughs> let's go check it out This is Jock's Lincoln, yeah. 1978 Lincoln Mark, Mark five, four yeah. or five. five. Anyway, yeah. they said during the tour that this Lincoln was only driven on the set, set. here for filming. It looks yeah. brand it's crazy. new. Looks brand new. Yeah, it still runs. They said it still goes, mm -hmm. and they still drive it around the. It's cool. It's fun. I'm gonna take some selfies with Jr. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> And here's where they filmed a lot for the for the reboot on who is this? Elena. Elena. Elena's house. And it's all it's it's all plexiglass off. So you can't like get inside the set and see, but it's a real set. So hopefully the glares won't be too bad. And we'll show you around the place. Another fun fact, they built this whole rodeo, rodeo. arena for one episode. <laughs> the yeah. 100th episode, 100th anniversary yeah. episode, they did a rodeo episode and they built this whole arena yeah. just to shoot that one episode. It's crazy what they'll spend on <laughs> yeah. an episode. But the show is making them a lot of money. Yeah, and they told us they still use this venue. Yes. For like charity events and. They do little rodeo things here. Junior rodeos yeah. and things. So it's still it gets cool. It's used, yeah. Yeah, but it's crazy that the main it's purpose. Sole purpose was for one, one episode. episode. <laughs> yeah, crazy. crazy. All right, gift shop. Gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> We're back at the stockyard. Yeah. We had so much fun before, and we had to come back and look who we got with us. It's <laughs> Lauren here. Yeah. So everybody's curious. How you doing? Yeah. How's school? It's good. Doing good, great. <laughs> totally. All right, uh, enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go eat some barbecue and then we're gonna go to rodeo and see a bunch of cowboys get bucked off of bulls and we're gonna see clowns probably doing some dumb stuff but it's the finals yeah out here at the, stock the rodeo finals tonight yeah but if you have never been to the stock here you gotta go to the rodeo on a friday or a saturday night just so happened lucky us yeah. it's the finals and it's even better because lauren's here Yay! <laughs>
we got to see some really cool stuff while we're in Dallas Fort Worth. Yes. But unfortunately, there was some stuff that couldn't show you because they don't allow video. Mm -hmm. But we didn't want to not include it, so we want to at least talk about it, let you know, so you can go see it because it's worth seeing. Stuff worth seeing. Yes. Yes, yeah. it is. So we had three major places that that were really cool mm -hmm. that we would recommend going to, but we couldn't show you on video. Now, if you go over to our Instagram or our Facebook page, you'll see the pictures that we took while we were yeah. there. Well, on two of them, because the first one I'm talking about is the mint, yeah. and the mint, that's where they print the money. Yes. <laughs> that was so cool. They make the plates and yeah. print. Now, when we were in, in Kansas City, we went to the Federal Reserve Bank. Now, that's yeah. where they store money, disperse money, and destroy money yeah. that's no longer in circulation. But here in Fort Worth is one of only two locations in the United States where they print, print money. Yeah. So you can go in there. We couldn't even take pictures in there. No, no cameras. No pictures, no video, no nothing. But we do recommend no it. No cell phone. Nothing. nothing. You have to leave you your stuff in, in your car. They frisk you and all that stuff. Again, yeah. if you got warrants, <laughs> might want to pass. But it was really cool, and um, and it's free. Yeah, it's totally free. So if you're in a Fort Worth area, go to the Mint. It's worth seeing. Yeah, it was cool. It's torture it seeing is. piles Stacks and piles of money of hundred dollar bills, <laughs> pallets of hundred dollar bills. Yeah, it's insane. Couldn't work there. <laughs> oh, it is really nauseating a little bit, but yeah. it's it's fun to see. It was cool. Um, the next one was AT and T Stadium. That's where the Cowboys play. Mm -hmm. Standing in front of AT&T Stadium, home of the boys. How about them? Boys? How about them boys? No longer in the playoff, but it's here in Arlington, Texas, which is a really cool place. And it, if you're a touristy kind of person, yeah. if you're here, like touring, this it's is the place the to be. Bus tour. Yeah. Yeah, it's the, the the tour was really cool, and plus, right across the street is the old ballpark where the Texas Rangers played. Yeah. The one that they're building now. The new park. And right next door to that is Six Flags. Six Flags. Yeah. What was your favorite part of the tour? Uh, it was all cool. I think going in a suite is nice because you can kind of yeah. get a feel of the rich life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous to, to get that. Yeah, life, they wouldn't but... give us an exact price on what that cost, but he did give us an example of a, a, a group of eight who rented a suite for a single game. Yeah, recently. $10,000. Yes. One game. Eight people, <laughs> like twelve hundred bucks a person. Yeah, for a four-hour game, that's insane. That's insane. Most of them are leased out long term. Yeah. To corporations, things like that. Twenty yeah. to thirty-year leases. Yeah. But they wouldn't let us videotape in there. Lots of places in Dallas wouldn't let us videotape. No. But uh, can't videotape inside this stadium. But we did take some. Uh, we did take some still pictures. So if you want to see all the cool pictures we took, yeah. you got to go over to our Instagram or our Facebook page because we're gonna post them there. Yeah, I got, I got, <laughs> they had a scratcher machine in there. So I got a Dallas Cowboy scratcher. And the deal is, it's you can win up to $100,000. If I win the $100,000, I'm a Cowboys fan. <laughs> <laughs> Anything less than that. If I win $99,999, not, not a Cowboys fan. But if I win the 100 grand, I'm in. So you have a good chance of not being a Cowboys fan. We could probably even take a tenth of it and rent a suite. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna scratch it here in a little bit, and we'll let you know if we won. Mine's always like one number out. Like you can be like just way the way off. No, so. They tease you. Just let me lose with some dignity. <laughs> well, I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is, I don't have to be a Cowboys <laughs> fan. <laughs> the bad news is. This ticket is worth about as much as a Cowboys playoff ticket. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but so it was nice. fun to scratch. And it's a pretty ticket. It is a pretty ticket. <laughs> <laughs> but not a winning ticket. Not a winner. Worth seeing. I'm not a Cowboys fan. <laughs> but. This is news to me. It was worth seeing. It's cool. And we got some cool Again. pictures. Nauseating. Yes. Because it is way too nice. For, for the Cowboys? <laughs> <laughs> you could say it. Yeah. For any <laughs> For a team, team that sucks, yeah. it's way too nice. <laughs> any team in general. I mean, I just don't see the need for Italian 
marble. Yeah. And the, uh, what was the specialized wood they had the in their wall ben walkers? The wood that's in Benson's. Bentley's. 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 Yeah. Same wood the, they put, put in, in Bentley's. The Bentley's. Are made of, that's what yeah. their lockers are made out of in the, in the locker room in the Cowboys and Stadium. The steel came from Germany. Yes. Marble from Italy. Because when the light hits it just right, the Cowboys blue pops out in certain places yeah. of the marble. Yes. So Jerry Jones felt like he needed the, the yeah. special Italian marble. But if you want to see some of those pictures, they're up on our Facebook and Instagram. Really cool place. Yeah. It's a little pricey to get in and do the tour. And I was not happy about giving Jerry Jones any of my money. <laughs> but... Felt like it was worth it. it was about it's, it's something you just got to do one time yeah it was what 30 bucks a person 32 ahead kids work a little bit cheaper but. yeah and the tour is about an hour and a half and you get mm -hmm. to see a bunch of cool stuff you get to go out into the field you get to go to the locker rooms the cheerleaders locker rooms you get to see sweets. Uh, the sweets mm -hmm. they talk about all the cool stuff how they change over the field and it's yeah. just a real, it's a cool tour yeah yeah so the third one that we got to go to WAG 2020. The president of George W. Yeah. Bush <laughs> Library and Museum. Uh, I thought that was cool. It was cool. I didn't, we'd, we'd never been to a, a presidential library or museum. No. And I thought it was really cool. And interesting stuff and a lot of stuff that we didn't know about W. Yeah. Yeah. Had a bunch of family-oriented stuff about kind of like behind the scenes of his presidency and stuff that involved his personal life. Yeah, they show a lot of, yeah, not so much what he did during his presidential yeah. public stuff. It was more private, yeah. family, friends. Yeah. An exact replica of the Oval Office. Yeah. Which was really that was cool. cool. Got to sit at the desk, yeah. take a phone call, you know. <laughs> Stop World War Three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you wouldn't know when you're sitting in there. You wouldn't know that it's not the Oval Office. Yeah. You kind of fooled me. Yeah, because it's all their stuff. They get to design. Yeah. Their office. Yeah. Their so every president's a little different. So that Except was his for stuff. Certain paintings and stuff can't be can't changed. be removed. Yeah, but most of the decor and the rugs and the the yeah. chairs and the desk, it's all they're but, picking. Yeah, you would think you were in D.C. Yeah. So you know how the saying goes, fool me once, shame on you, fool me, fool me can't get fooled again. <laughs> and now how it goes? Yeah, that's exactly how it goes. <laughs> Nailed it. I'm, I'm busting on, on W, but it, I, he has a good sense of humor. Yeah, he, 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 would probably he think had a funny. comical side, so yeah. that's I, he, he He takes it pretty well. Yeah. But um, anyway, that was cool. That was some of the stuff that we wish we could have showed you mm -hmm. on the video, but it's still up on our other social media platforms. Um, there's a couple other things that you can't videotape that we didn't go and see, but we've heard are pretty good, like the JFK Museum. Downtown Dallas is where JFK was assassinated. They have the museum there. It's like 16, 17 bucks a person. They won't let you video. We didn't get a chance to go there. Now, I went there in my early 20s. Yeah. Yeah. I doubt it's changed much, but... Yeah. I mean, it, it's interesting stuff. Yeah. If you're in the area, it, it should be something you do. And then the other thing is, um, Bonnie Parker from Bonnie and Clyde yeah. is buried here in Dallas. It's a private cemetery. You can't um, photograph her video in there. Yeah. So we didn't go and see that. Mm -hmm. But it's cool to know that she's here. If you, you can go see you it. You can. You just. Uh, can't. But you just can't take any pictures yeah. or uh, or video. So passed on that yeah <laughs> but everything else in Fort Worth and Dallas was awesome we had a great time here we spent about six weeks here mm -hmm. but we're ready to go yeah <laughs> and we're gonna talk about that in our next uh, next week's episode when we talk about our 2020 travel plans so um, see you next week on that one mm -hmm. cool we're gonna toss it back to us <laughs> with Lauren <laughs> to close out the video <laughs> like we do at the end of all of our videos we're gonna honor a fallen hero Thanks for coming along with us to the stockyards and to the rodeo and all of Dallas and Fort Worth and all the cool stuff we got to see. We hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a great holiday season. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.